Okay, guys, so for some of you guys, this is just revision. Okay, so understanding or having an idea of a strategy and what to do if you do fall over. Okay, so the first thing to mention is, weirdly enough, if you know how to get up from a fall, you're probably less likely to worry about your balance. So as people get older and they struggle with their balance, we're less likely to do things like get on the floor and get back up again. But what we don't want to do is wait until we're down there by default to then have to deal with it. So even if you feel a bit nervous about getting on the floor, with a little bit of help and making sure you're safe, it goes a long way to practice it. Okay, so one of the things I would say to most people, very good form of exercise at home is getting on the floor, moving around, obviously making sure you're safe so you've got someone at home to help you if you do get stuck. But we're gonna go through just some simple strategies of what to do if you do fall. Now you guys, I'll let you guys know it already, so you're gonna talk me through it as I go, okay? So, I'm at home, I've had a fall on the floor, crashed down on the floor, what's the first thing I'm gonna do? Roll on your stomach. Okay, Assess before that. Before that. Assess yourself, see how you are. Yeah, how you you are. before that, this is all the same sort of stuff, which is good. Acknowledge you've had a fall. Brilliant, excellent, Izzy. Okay, so what I'm looking for is, when you've had a fall, the chances are you might not know you've fallen until it's happened, and then when you've got this big adrenaline kick, so it might be disorientating. So it sounds simple, but the first thing I'm gonna do is if I fall, I'm gonna stop, take a deep breath in, and I'm gonna go, right, I'm on the floor. So I'm on the floor, so I must have fallen, okay? So I'm acknowledging it, so excellent, Izzy. What's the next thing I'm gonna do? See if anything's hurt or broken. Yeah, could do that. If I'm at home and I've got someone at home, so I might shout, for help. Louisa, help. Yeah, I want to shout for help because it's always better if someone's around. Um, but moving on from that, exactly like this says, I'm going to check if I'm hurt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my arms and I'm going to move my legs. I'm just going to move around just gently so we can see, have I injured anything? Okay. If obviously if my leg's not moving, that could be a sign of, of, of injury or a break or something like that. But I'm just going to move my arms and legs just to check everything's all right. And as it is, they feel fine. Okay. What's the next thing I'm going to do? Yeah, get myself on my side, so someone said that before. So whichever side is more comfortable for you, I'm just going to bring myself up onto an elbow. So there's a couple of things like this can be fiddly, but if you struggle, obviously with Parkinson's, a lot of people struggle to rotate. One of the things I say to a lot of people is break it down into a couple of different movements. So the first thing, I'm going to bring my knees up, and then I'm going to let my knees fall to the side, and then I'm going to reach over to this way. That, for a lot of people, helps them roll over to the side as opposed to trying to do it all in one movement there, okay? So if you need to break it up, send your legs across and then your arm, or even reach over with your arm and then you let the legs fall, okay? From here, my elbow is gonna dig into the floor and I'm gonna just turn myself over to the other hand. So watch what happens. If I bring my weight over, I naturally push through that elbow. That's very different from sitting up like this. You see the difference? That's really hard, okay? If I roll almost like I'm rolling onto my front, my elbow digs in and then I can have a sit up here. Now, while I'm here, I'm gonna look around and see if I can see why I've fallen. Was it a case of me losing my balance? Did I feel dizzy or did I slip on something? Because obviously if there's some water here on the floor, I'm like, well, maybe I slipped on that. I need to take care of that. So I might grab a towel, put it over the water, or if I slipped on the cat or a hedgehog or something, I might sure, make sure that they're away. Now, you're probably not gonna get a hedgehog in the house, but still, you never know. Right, but from here, I'm also gonna to start to put together a plan, which is, this is my bench or my chair or something stable to get up on. It sounds simple, but again, when you are anxious, you might make a bad choice, like trying to pull yourself up on a towel or a plant. Sounds silly now, but when the adrenaline's going, we make sort of brash decisions, okay? But I'm not gonna do that, I'm gonna go, this is my bench I'm gonna to go to, okay? So from here, I'm gonna turn myself onto all fours, okay? So I'm gonna turn myself up onto my knees. And as I do this, I'm just gonna take my time to settle because when you move from position to position, you can feel dizzy. So I'm gonna slowly start to wake my way, make my way to the bench. If I feel on the way, I feel dizzy, I might come back down to sitting again, okay? I wanna take my time with this process because I don't want to rush it. Try and avoid rushing when you're feeling anxious. Take your time. I'm gonna come back up to my knees again. I'm gonna get up towards my bench, and the first thing I'm gonna do is place my hands in front of the bench there, and then I'm gonna bring myself closer by moving my knees closer. Once I'm in this position and I feel comfortable to, I'm gonna step a leg up. I'm gonna choose my left leg, and when I put that left leg down, I'm gonna make sure my ankle's underneath my knee. So I'm not gonna try and stand up from here or back here. I'm gonna make sure that foot is underneath. 
When I go to stand up, I'm going to take all my weight, or as much of my weight as I can, through my hands and the front leg. So I'm leaning like this and pushing up here. You can even go to your elbows and do the same thing to help yourself up here. And then what I'm going to do, once I'm here, I'm going to try and sit down as soon as possible. So I'm going to bring myself down, and then I'm just going to sit, breathe, relax, and again start to piece things together. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So the important thing is that is basically taking your time to get from the floor upwards. The biggest thing is take your time to do it. If you're methodical and you think and you give yourself breathing time, you're more likely to do things in the right way. If you rush it, we tend to make errors and mistakes. Okay, does that make sense? So real quick review, fallen on the floor. Okay, acknowledge I've fallen, deep breath in. Okay, Frankie, I've had a fall. You don't have to come up just yet, but if you don't mind taking my hot dogs out of the microwave and get some pickle sauce on them, please. Right, move my arms and legs, they feel okay. Bring myself to my side, turn myself onto my hand, so pull myself up to my elbow here, have a look up. I'm gonna to move towards that bench there, there's no hazards, there's no slippy floor or anything. Turn to my knees, take my time, moving across here, breathing as I go. Hands up onto the bench. A couple of breaths here, just to make sure I'm feeling okay. One leg up, foot underneath the knee, lean forwards, all the weight into the hands and the, and the leg at the front. Standing, turning round as soon as I can, sitting down, <coughs> breathing, relaxing. Okay? Now, to get down to the floor, we'll do the opposite. So I'll stand in front of my bench or my chair. I'm going to reach down, put some weight through my hands. From here, kick a leg back, bring that knee to the floor. From here, bring my other knee to the floor. Walk them back slightly if I need to. Bring my hands down to the floor here, walk back on my hands and knees, sit to the side. From here, tuck my elbow in, and then just bring myself forwards and down to my side here. Okay? So in a minute, we're going to practice that and give that a go. So find some space. If you need any help, give myself or Frankie a shout. We will help you with this process. All right, guys? If you're comfortable to get on the floor as it is, what I want you to work on is getting down on the floor, turning to your back, Doing some bridging, so pushing the hips up, bringing the legs up and the arms up here. You can have a go at just bending the arms and the legs. You can have a go at twisting, moving side to side if you're comfortable to. So rolling one way, coming up there, and also not forgetting moving around on your hands and knees as well. All those movements are very important and can actually build a lot of strength and connection with the body. All right, guys? So when you feel ready to, have a little go at getting down on the floor, and we'll help you with that. All right, guys, off you go.